If you've ever wanted a quality bidet attachment with a lifetime warranty, you'll want to check out our favorite bidet attachment, the Go Bidet. Today, we're going to walk through installing this from start to finish. My name is Daniel Johnson, I'm your bidet expert, and I'm the owner of ManyBidets.com, where over the past eight years, we've sold over 10,000 bidets. So the first step whenever installing a bidet attachment is to take your existing toilet seat off. Pretty straightforward to do this. Just loosen the nuts on the bottom side of these bolts. And once those nuts are off, the seat will come off. The attachment is going to sit between your existing toilet seat and the rim of the toilet itself. This is how the go bidet attachment comes in the box. We have the arm that attaches the go bidet to the toilet. We have a nut, a plastic washer, and a rubber washer. The rubber washer will stay on that, uh, that little bolt, but the nut and the plastic washer will come off. So we're going to leave it right like that. You can also unscrew this all together if you want and move it over to this hole if you want to uh, have some opportunity for different placement of the go bidet control panel. We'll look at that as we get further into the installation. When it comes to water connections, by default the go bidet works with cold water. You can see the C here, this is the cold water inlet. Here's your H for hot water inlet. By default, the hot water inlet is capped off. We can take a flathead screwdriver to uncap it. And if you get a hot water adapter kit with your go bidet, install the nub that comes with that hot water adapter kit so that you now have a hot water inlet as well. The hot water inlet would connect to the sink water line or some other location where you can get hot water. And of course, a hot water kit is going to come with a, an additional hose and T connector to run that line. Today, we are going to be installing the cold water only. But as you can see, getting the hot water set up is pretty straightforward, assuming that you get the hot water kit. Now we're going to place the arm into the hole that connects the toilet seat to the toilet. We want to make sure that this rubber washer is protecting the porcelain, so that's going to be between the two. And now we're going to put the plastic washer on the bottom side here, followed by the nut. So let's do that now. That's somewhat snug. We could get a wrench and tighten that down even further. This hole here where the nub could also have connected would allow us to connect the nub here and run it over to this hole if we needed positioning to be a little bit different. You'll also notice that these arms go over the rim of the toilet bowl, which allows the nozzle to hide inside the toilet bowl under the rim and allows me to move this nozzle for front wash or rear wash and even adjust it a little bit here as needed to get that positioning perfect. So now we need to connect the bidet, the go bidet, to the water supply. Right now there's pressurized water in the line, so we want to avoid disconnecting anything while that's the case or we're going to have water everywhere. We're going to turn the water supply off. This is a quarter turn off valve. And then we're going to flush the toilet and hold down on the flush and hold down on the flush until we don't hear water flowing anymore so that we know as much water is out of the line as possible. Despite the fact that we've gotten so much water out of the line, we still want something to absorb any water that does fall out when we disconnect the water supply. We are disconnecting the water supply at the tank, not at the water inlet. The T-connector will only connect on the bottom side of the tank. The water inlet will not work for this T-connector. You'll receive a white box with your bidet. 
in that box, you're going to have the T connector that allows you to connect the bidet to the water, a spacer, and some plumber's tape just in case you need it. The spacer will be placed here. And the T connector, we want to first of all make sure that that rubber gasket is showing there. We'll connect to the bottom side of the water inlet on the toilet tank. And that is tight on there. And now we need to connect the water inlet to the bottom side of that T, again making sure that, that rubber gasket is there. And last but not least, we need to connect the water supply that leads from the offshoot of the T connector to the go bidet. We'll tighten these down a little bit with a wrench. And there we have it. Now we just need to figure out exactly what position we want the arm and the nozzle in. And once we've done that, we can tighten this nut on the bottom side of our arm in that position. We're now going to place the toilet seat over the toilet holes. We have our plastic spacer right here. So these are both now the same height. We're going to go ahead and put the toilet seat there. Grab the bolts that came with the toilet seat, put those into place. Grab the nuts and washers that came with the toilet seat. All this we took off just moments ago. And for this one, I'm actually gonna use a flat tip on the top here. Get that a little bit tighter. And now we're ready to check it for leaks. So there's a few different places that we want to keep an eye on the three connections on the T, as well as the connection where the hose connects to the go bidet. If we mess with the connection down here by the water supply, we'll wanna keep an eye on that as well. I'm gonna turn it on slowly. And we actually have a leak there. See a little bit of water coming out there? So let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's mess with that leak. Now to check for the leak, we're gonna go ahead and drain this tank again, get any water out that we can. And we could see that water was leaking out between the, uh, the, the water inlet for the tank and this top piece of the connector. So let's go ahead and just undo that. When we have a leak like this, we wanna make sure that we're checking for the rubber washer. Uh, the rubber washer is missing here but it's actually because it's pressed up into the uh, inlet here. So what I'm gonna do in this scenario is use a little bit of plumber's tape. This plumber's tape does come with the go bidet, so you don't have to worry about going out and buying plumber's tape just for a, a little install. And now we're gonna re-tighten this down. absorb some of that water that spilled out. And just for the sake of completeness, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of an extra tightening. All right, let's check again. Again, turn it on slowly here. And that's so much better. So no more leaking from right here, no leaking from any of the other seams. We're good to go on that front. So now it's time for the fun part, testing the product. So let's go ahead and make sure that the go bidet works. Forward on this knob is off, backwards is on. So you can see here, we're adjusting the position of the nozzle under the rim out. 
under the rim out. So you can kind of get it right where you want it. And then you use this to adjust the pressure. So right now, if I push back on this, we see no water comes out. And why is that? Well, I'm over on the hot side of the equation and I only have the cold water supply connected. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over to cold. And as we do that, we're gonna see water start to come out. So we've confirmed that it works. And if you're actually using it, you can use this knob at the same time to adjust the position and make sure to get the best coverage possible. Now, the beautiful thing about the GoBidet is it does have a lot of pressure because it's using the pressure from your home. So I can just keep turning this up if I want. And we can see that there's lots of pressure there to work with. Um, so if you're looking for a high quality product, you don't need all the bells and whistles, but you do want really good pressure. This is, this is a good unit. This is definitely gonna do the trick. Now that we've tested and made sure that it works, we've got everything hooked up. All we've got left to do is enjoy it. So while we've tried to cover everything you could possibly want to know about the installation of the GoBidet, we know that there might be some things that you still have questions about. If that's the case, comment on this video so that we can address it. Or if you look at our website, the link is in the video description. You can reach out to us via email, phone, text, or live chat. Also consider making your next purchase from manybidets.com. This helps us stay in business and thus helps us to come up with additional great content like this for both you and others down the road. We're also doing some videos on the Go Bidet reasons to buy and reasons not to buy. If you want to see those, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you see those videos when they drop. And of course, like this video if you like what you saw. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets. The spout, and it should work, but it's not. What are we missing?